thinking about you guys. Just thinking about you. Your tribute was so beautiful last week. Well, I, mean, I was thinking about you guys and how close you were. I mean, really, really like family with Don. Which one of you did he like better? Let's just start with that. John, you think John was the favorite? Well, Me. he called him Stamos, so he never got his name right. <laughs> <laughs> and he met him, and John got close with him first. I mean, he really did love John. I think he took, took him back to an older time of showbiz when people were like John, just uh, handsome and smart and didn't talk about show business, talked about family. And, uh, oh, wow. and that was... <laughs> <laughs> and, that's, never... and that's why Full House will never go off the air. <laughs> <laughs> Three but, tell, tell how, yeah. How but did you meet Don in the first well, place? Well, I, th I, th I was at Tony's Taverna, a Greek restaurant, and I sat next to him, and we, you know, it was about 15 or 17 years ago. So it was before his, you know, his renaissance, his resurgence. So it was right. interesting to sort of be by his side to watch him get the accolades that he deserved, you know? I think after the, um, the documentary, remember Mr. Warmth, people saw like, oh, he's still alive and he's still the funniest guy on the planet. And That is a great documentary that yeah. people should watch. It's a yeah. great yeah. opportunity to watch the yeah. Mr. Warmth, which <laughs> really covers his, oh, his hey, career, yeah. you know, that beginning part of his career, which, you know, even like for me, I of course loved him on The Tonight Show and you'd right. see him in all these things, but you didn't, I didn't know about all the stuff that preceded that. There, yeah. I, I became in love with him at 17 years old. I snuck into the Latin Casino in New Jersey. Really? And I was underage, and so uh, <laughs> I got arrested. Uh, <laughs> but, but I just, I loved him from The Tonight Show, and I loved him from everything he ever did, all the roasts and everything. And his way of roasting was like nobody else's. It was not done mean-spirited. He did it out of love. But then when he was mean to you, it was like a privilege. <laughs> yeah, it was like a gift. It but really was gr a great, like, not too many people you're thrilled when they say something mean to you. I, I can't really think of anyone else. Who... But for every mean thing he said in his whole career, he said two nice things for that. True. Thing. And he loved you, Jim. He, he loved really... you a lot. Well, I, it made that's... me jealous, actually. No, it did not. No, he, you guys were. I mean, listen. You, I know you guys talked on the phone all the time. It mm -hmm. was like it was a, a, really a fatherly type relationship. I didn't grow up, you know. I didn't like, you know, stay up late to watch him on Carson. And like, I mean, I was certainly aware of him. But we started out straight up. Kind of like, you know, talking about, I, I never say, said he was like a father figure. I mean, that was him, for him to say. I, I didn't, you know, I, I tread lightly on, on those sure. words, but we talked about that. He, you know, he really wanted me to find a girl and a woman. Know, a, a woman. woman. He, yeah. said, <laughs> he said, stop dating, uh, you know, teenagers. And John made him. <laughs> I mean, he did, he did. But he you know, told me the, the same thing. The problem is, when he did that joke, he was like, ah, Stamos with nine-year-olds. I'm like, why nine? Like, make him 20 or 22. Yeah, you know, he right? named a nine-year-old. I mean, that's sick. That, that's not appropriate. Right? <laughs> that's wrong, people. That is wrong. But you made him so... You made him so happy because you didn't just find a woman, you found thousands of women. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, he was so women happy. all the, over, the, everywhere in elevators. Don would say he had a little clicker for each one. <laughs> no, 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 he wouldn't, because it would have gotten a laugh. By the way, I won't let you off the hook either, because he was just <laughs> kind of obsessed with you guys settling down. He would yeah, he always was, yeah. bust your balls right. about that. He, he was worried to... about Bob. <laughs> right. We so. had a long conversation. <laughs> what are we going to do with Sagan? What are we doing with Bob? Why do you say he was worried about Bob? Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, is, this, is what, this is what this is what he said about my comedy. Uh, I was actually, uh, <laughs> and, and this is going to be foul. Um, uh -huh. Well, he, he would say that um, I would come out and I'd look like a Jewish Clark Kent, and he would <laughs> he would tell this to Bob Newhart and Tim Conway, his his contemporaries, and Bob Newhart, his best friends. And he would say, you know what Bob Saget does in his act? And they would go, what? He goes, oh, he comes out like a Jewish Clark Kent, and then he sings a song, and the monkey. The dog and the dog <laughs> monkey. Yeah. And I said, Don, I did. I don't do that. <laughs> I've never said that. I've inferred. <laughs> no, he says, and a John, and a John. And a well, that's, well that's, that's just true. But um, <laughs> how many times is between the two of you did you have dinner with Don? What would you guess? A lot. A, a, right? a lot. When I first started hanging around with him, you know, like I said, 15, 17 years ago, it was just me, Don, and Barbara. And that was Barbara always fun because Barbara's wife, his beautiful wife, who um, who we send so much love to right now. Oh, she's the best. And his daughter best. Mindy, uh, a lot of love to that family. You know what I loved when um, you asked Barbara or Don, you say, you say, "Hey, Don, how are you?" And he would always say, "We're fine." Barbara, how are you? We're fine. Yeah, yeah beautiful. You know. And Barbara knew every story. She knew. <laughs> she couldn't care less. He would just push your glasses up. <laughs> <laughs> she takes off her bra and her head hits the sink. You know, those are... <laughs> with her jewelry. 
but I would. You got the jewelry weighs her down in the pool. <laughs> I love Barbara would be having a conversation <laughs> with my wife or whomever she was sitting next to, and Don would be telling a story, and he gets stuck on some detail of the story. You wouldn't even think Barbara was listening. Oh, yeah. Barbara would be just like, like Sinatra, <laughs> yeah, right. the Sands. You yeah. know, <laughs> keep going. Fill yeah. in all the blanks, and we'll have and we'll have another round. <laughs> yeah. He would say, right. he would say, John, give me that cookie, and, and she'd say, Don, you can't have the cookie. You have diabetes. John, give me. The you, give me the cookies. He snuck him cookies. So Man he snuck was it under the better. table, to the, you know, to give him the cookies. <laughs> God, Great. John, why did you give him the, you know, and then I'd stick him the bill and I'd go home. Yeah. I, I, I had a dinner story with him and it was just, John couldn't make it. I think he was busy dating a, a nine-year-old. And, uh... <laughs> By the way, the great thing was that I finally met a beautiful woman who I'm madly in love with, and Don got to meet her and approved her, and it was wow. just crazy about her. So same thing, wow. same thing with me, and it's the same woman, which is ironic. <laughs> No, but we both we both met women. We both met women at the same time, and mine's actually a woman. I mean, so is yours. I mean, I don't mean what? I mean, for my age. Now, I'm, now. I'm your senior. So let me I'll just tell you this briefly because yeah. I, I wanted to Please. tell this story. Yeah. We're at dinner at Craig's who emailed me before uh, I got here and said, Please mention me on the air. So, <laughs> so we're at dinner there, and I'm just it's just Barbara Don and me. Uh, or I. I don't know. I don't care. And uh, <laughs> And they would bring out these little hot dogs wrapped in dough because they bring them out. And I said, bring him the hot dogs wrapped in dough because he, he liked them. So they, he's eating one and she goes, Don, where'd you get that? And he goes, where'd I get it? It's a restaurant. <laughs> I get it. But, but I ordered it, right? And so she gets up. She's like mad. She goes to the bathroom. I, and, and to make him laugh, that's yeah. like a big gift. And yeah. I, this is one that I'll always remember. So she gets up, goes to the bathroom, and I said, you got to get out of this. <laughs> and the man hit the table. <laughs> and, then, and then he smacked me. He did, did he ever smack you in the face? Many no. times, yeah. And he would do it lovingly, too. He didn't love comics, to be honest with you, but he loved you two. He and didn't love comics could, in general. He, right? No. He didn't, you'd say, who? And when I first started bringing Bob around, I was like, oh, I don't know, keep the comics away or whatever. But then he, but slowly he started to really love Bob, and then you you really could make him laugh, which was, a, I loved this watching This is really him. hard for me. I mean, what you did the other yeah. night is how I feel right now. Yeah. Because uh, I just, and I don't like doing it either in front of people, but I just love well, this Well, I don't guy. want to upset you, and I know no, you, you are. love them. You but... are. And I, <laughs> and I, 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 just, I do want to say about the two of you, John Stamos and Bob Saget, between the cookies and the hot dogs, <laughs> killed Don Rickles. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. President. Nice to see you, sir. And your lovely wife, Nancy. It's, it's a big treat for me to fly all the way from California to be here for this kind of money. That's uh, Don Rickles with the Reagans. So, Don, I would, I, if I had to guess, I'd say you guys were at hundreds of dinners with Don. He would tell, he had a kind of a rotation of stories that he would go through, and if there was somebody new at the table, he would share those. <laughs> What's your favorite of all of them? Maybe even one that, there were some that he only told with very small groups. Is there one that comes to mind for Well, it'll be the Frank you. story. Why don't you tell it? You know everything. He's told that story. <laughs> the, everybody everyone knows that. I think that's probably the thing people know most about. You know what I do, but you know, maybe this isn't what you're talking about, but I have, a, I knew a secret, because we had the same audio video guy, and all his passwords were Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, what? when we were, yeah, okay, uh, uh, a, year, a year ago, a year ago, we were at, <laughs> That's excellent. Right? That is a good piece of trivia. That's really easy to figure out. Um, <laughs> we were at uh, the Saban Theater, and he performed. And at that time, he couldn't, he couldn't stand. And so he was in the chair, and we were all there. Mm -hmm. And um, he got up one time in the act, one time, and it was planned. And it was to goose step. <laughs> he stood yeah, up, he had to and he put the mustache on. This is a man. He spent all of his energy to stand up in his chair, just to walk across the stage, for a joke. just to goose step and go yavol. I don't know. Were you ever in a show where he, you know, he does his act and said, and the uh, the Asian person over there, and the African American person there, and the yeah. Mexican person, there. and yeah. the lights come up. There was no Asian person. <laughs> there was no, there was no, well, he might have been there. Were there, Guillermo? Yeah, I was there, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was the best. I, I have to say that it's just been the highlight of my life to, to have spent time with him. And, that's that's uh, the sweet, that's the, that's I mean, the truth. It, you, you spoke to uh, Bob Newhart today, I know. I did, on the way here. I talked to him and I said, uh, you know, I, you're it now, so we're gonna take you to dinner. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, he's, a lot and of I pressure. said, and I'm attracted to your wife, Ginny. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, oh, oh, well, that's, a, that's an age difference. <laughs> and so we are going to take him to dinner. Well, we have and to we... find a new person, anyway. Well, well Bob Newhart's <laughs> pretty Don's cool. already being replaced? What? I mean... <laughs> I was emotional on the way here. I needed someone to take his place. This is not American Idol or The Voice. We, got, we can wait. <laughs> what did you say have... last time you talked to him? Well, the last time I talked to him was, I guess, uh, so hard. Like five weeks ago, I called him and I said, how you feeling? And he said, what do I have to do to get you out of my life? <laughs> that was it. So I, I did apparently have something to do with it. He did a little one-on-one -on -one thing, not just with people he knew, but also with everyone he passed. I got so many messages on Twitter and emails of people saying, like, I was a page standing in the hall at NBC, and he said, wipe that stupid smile off your face. <laughs> right. And it really was a nice little gift, something people could tell their families, a little story about Don Rickles, because really, you just want to be, it's like the Pope, you want to be touched on the head. And in this case, you, know, you want to be insulted by Don right. as he walks by. I was just thinking, as we were holding hands, getting ready to come out here, was <laughs> he wanted so bad to get a Kennedy Honor Kennedy Center, Center Honor. Kennedy Center Honor. We yes. should work on that. I know he had a theory that somehow he had offended the Kennedy family well, in the past. Joe, he said something to Joe Kennedy about hookers and handguns. Yes. <laughs> Joe Kennedy That's probably has good. been dead for what? How many years? Right. Like what? Seventy well, years. We, we or should something? try. <laughs> did, were you at the dinner the last time? He said, "Boy, but before I die, I hope I just get one of those those honors." Uh, I have discussed it with him. He seemed certain that, but that would be a lovely thing. I emailed Honor. someone at the Kennedy Center. It was just a random thing. You just go online. No, I no, I emailed <laughs> I emailed the person because I had done a roast of James Carville there, and uh, it would have been to... a lovely thing for us all. Do to you get. have any other guests? Because Bob. Oh, you saying shut up, Bob? No, no, we didn't, we're, we're well, I never thought fine. we'd be friends this long. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, the first four years we worked together, we weren't like besties. You were bringing all the hot women in the world to the show. You had a mullet. You were Uncle Jesse, and I was a married guy and the and living in the Palisades. I didn't know what the hell was going on. You were you were getting you were, action all the time. I was trying to write jokes at night. You were as Don would call you a whiny Jew. <laughs> you, you guys That's are going to be like the old guys on the Muppets. <laughs> That, I hope that happens. I hope so, too. John Stamos, Bob Sagan, everybody. You can see Don Rickles at the Orleans Hotel in Las Vegas, August 9th through 11th. Thanks for watching. If you like that, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway. It's free. Who cares?